Well, no, I, I didn't make it through, you know. Apparently, I'm not what they're looking for. A bit too rock and roll for their liking. I don't even suppose Rick Astley would have made it through that. Anyway, I suppose it's their loss. Or should I say, the UK's loss. Sorry. You won't know this about me, but I used to work in the hotel industry. And in the hotel industry, we have a saying. Get it first the right time. No. Um, what I mean by that is... Uh... We're walking in the air We're riding in the midnight sky The people down below Are sleeping as we fly we're walking in the air We're riding in a midnight blue I'm finding I can fly So high above with you We're walking in the air We're walking in the air Is this serious? Is this some kind of joke? Samuel, come on. Come on, are you in on this? No, Samuel, come on. Right, well where's the hidden camera? I don't really have time for this. Oh, I was singing for you, sir. That wasn't singing. That was shouting, at best. You're wasting my time, you're wasting the show's time. Well, I think its performance is quite admirable and quite nice, so... Admirable? What's admirable? This little imbecile is making fools out of us. He's making a mockery of my show. Oh, Samuel, please. I was, I was just, you know... This is a joke. You're a joke. Oh, ha, bloody ha. Come on, who else is in on this? So, am I through then? What? No. It's a no from me. Oh. As sweet and as um, admirable as I think you are, it's a no from me too, I'm afraid. I'm sorry. Uh, and it's a no from me, I'm afraid. Now go on, clear off, before I lose my temper. Well, it's your loss anyway. You'll see. Guys, that was a setup. I promise you, someone set that up. He's 31 and he's obsessed with fame. He lives with his girlfriend Dee. Like you and me, he is born with the same two legs, two arms, two eyes, body and a brain. Although compared to us, Kevin is a little different. The difference between the talented achievers and us of this world is the achievers chase their dreams with every last breath while we don't. While we sit around dreaming of fame, being stars and celebrity, they actively pursue these dreams. All his life, Kevin has decided he does not want to be one of us. He wants to be an achiever, a hero, someone special in this world. He wants to be famous. So yeah, that's, that's it really. I mean, I just need something new in my life, you know. 
normal ice, just a bit too boring. Needs freshening up. Do you want sugar? Yeah, one, please. Thank one. you. I watch those um, celebrity panel shows. You watch them? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I watch them and I, I know what they're missing, see? They're missing me and I'm missing them. See, it's my destiny. I'm meant for better things. I should be part of that circle, you know? Thank you. No worries. I should be doing that, that, that stuff. The red carpet gear and the, you know, the panel shows, Christmas pantos, all that kind of stuff, you know. Richard and Judy on Tuesday morning. I'd even do my bit for charity, you know. But um, would you do, say, uh, Big Brother? Oh, no, no, no. No, I wouldn't do Big Brother. I'll tell you what. To me, Big Brother is about being famous for being famous. I'm, I'm not in for that. You've got to be famous for a reason. You've got to be an achiever. See, I want to be an achiever. I want to do something. And that is... You see, I want to be special. I want to be like the Terry Nutkins and the Pat Sharps and Dooley Smiths of this world, you know? I want to achieve something. That's my girlfriend. Dee! Dee, come here a second. Come say hello. Mm. This is Dee, my girlfriend. Beautiful, isn't she? She's my rock, she is. My everything. I don't know what I'd do without her. One day she's going to be my wife. And a mother to my children. This time next year will be an OK magazine, won't we, Dee? Not likely. What's that, darling? It's it all just might be. This is the Eagle's wife. <coughs> Not in this life. I'm really sorry, she's got a terrible habit of mumbling sometimes. I still love her though, you know. So yeah, I love her. She's more everything. I mean, it's flipping love at first sight. Love at what? No, 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 no. Silly. To be honest, it was a one night stand. Yeah, yeah, I was really drunk. Very, very drunk, actually. Yeah. But, yeah, it escalated into this. But it's perfect for me. I get my flat rent free. It's a perfect relationship. It's not a long term thing. Definitely not. No, it's definitely a short term thing. But it's perfect, perfect. So, yeah, my mum's my number one fan. Tell them why you're my number one fan, mum. I'll tell you a story. It's a little bit of a long one, so bear with me. When I was five, the teacher in school asked us to draw what we want to be when we grew up. All the kids drew the generic stuff, you know. Pilots, policemen, firemen, mm. nurses, that kind of stuff. I drew me as I saw myself. I drew me as Delia Smith. You see, I knew right then that I wanted to be famous. He did, you know. I did. So anyway, parent-teacher meeting comes along one evening and we're sitting there and the teacher says to mum your son has issues with reality he needs to focus more on real life and stop being so immature well I was five so mum looks the teacher in the eye and says is his maths any good and the teacher says yes it's fine mum says what about his English? How's that? Yeah, that's fine too, she says. And mum pipes up. Well, I don't see what the bleep bleep problem is then. She takes me by the hand, walks me straight out of that school and says, Yeah, son, you can be anything you want to be. The world is yours. Yeah. From that day forth, I knew what I had to do. Yeah. I, I, I just don't see what the problem is. My son is special. Good boy. More importantly, he knew what he was talking about. Kate Fleming has broken the world record for swimming the channel in under six hours, 50 minutes. She achieved this great feat against all odds and through the horrendous weather. Yes, go on.
and all the proceeds from this world record-breaking attempt will be split between UNICEF and the RSPCA. Preach. Beyond my wildest dreams. Right. It's 5.30. It's day one. It's time to tackle those demons. Remember, the early worm catches the bird. Gotta get better from here, eh? Upwards and onwards. I don't know where that nincompoop James is. He's terrible, he is. No! This morning, you silly Wally. James? James? Silly James, he's such a Wally sometimes. Don't stop, Kev. Come on. Come on, Chan. Come on, keep going, Kev. Come on. What happened to you, Kev? Nothing. Nothing. I think it's the eggs. They're disagreeing with me. I must have had a dodgy one. Oh, I feel a little bit like Eddie. Me and Kevin, well, I'm his best mate. Actually, I'm his only mate. Uh, and this is just what he does. And this is what I do. It's been like that since as long as I can remember. He, he is always a good bit of fun. I remember one time at school, um, he wrote me into being his assistant as school president. And it, it was three weeks before I realised that the school never even had a president. And he just elected himself. I guess you could say uh, it, it, he was like a failed dictatorship. This is it, my friend. We've made it. The big time, here we come.
Well, no, because it's all about a big reveal, isn't it? It's like when you watch The Sixth Sense or Usual Suspects. Or like when Delia finishes and prepares that final meal. You see, the best things in life are free. Hold on, no, sorry, what I mean is, uh, all good things come to those who wait. Well, with all this training, can we only assume you heavily research your training machine? Maybe we can take that as a clue, a hint, as what you're working towards. Well, no, it's just training, isn't it? Yeah, T training's just training. So, we've decided to up the ante just a little bit. We're all set for some one-on-one -on -one training down the gym. The gym of hard knocks. It's gonna start getting tough now, but you know the saying, you can't start a fire without a spark. Another bit of Phil Collins, aren't they? Right, so I've talked the talk, it's time to walk the walk. Let's get serious. Oh. So, here we are. Going for a little bit of one-on-one, -on -one personal training with the lads. Neil Armstrong. <laughs> Come on, hard ones. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, let's go. Right mate, so that's um, 50 quid an hour, We've done two hours, 100 quid please. Sorry? Um, it's 100 pounds. I don't know what you're talking about. Right, do we look like we work for nothing? Well, surely James so 100 quid please. What happened to you? I was out here Kev, I thought we said meet out here. Did, th did they give you a good duffing up? No. But they, they did say we ain't welcome back here anyway. I mean, you know the same. Upwards and onwards, I suppose. Come on. So, um, what do you think of Kevin Wecklesworth and his record breaking attempt? Um, Kevin who and his what? What do you think of Kevin Wigglesworth? Well, not much, really. He's an idiot, isn't it? He's got no chance. I don't know what he's on about. Oh, sure you want to do this? Yes. 
Have a look at that. What a beaut, what a beaut. Right, are you sure, yeah? Ready? Right. Give it my stripe. Go. Come on, champ, come on. It's a piece of tank. Come on, champ, you can do it. All the real contenders do it. Come on. Ooh. I'm burning. Come on. Come on. Keep going, keep going. Oh, no, no. No, come on, come on, you're fine, you're fine. So, um, was it worth it? Oh, yeah. I mean, James says it'll build all the muscles, you know? Put a few airs on the chest. He knows what he's talking about, old James. Must be the same in the dinner. Oh, get out, you bloody freak. Go on, do what, you stick. She's my rock, she is. I don't know what I'd do without her, to be honest. Right, so, it's waiting time. Let's see if all this hard work's paid off. But Kevin, Kevin, should we uh, really be coming back here after last time? Don't worry, it'll be fine. We'll be in and out in no time. That's more like it. Yeah. Hey, what we told you. Shot is lit. Move it. Move it. Oh, so you down. Finished. Is this it? Over. Down. Finished. Tell me something. Whenever I feel down, I think, what would Delia do in this moment? What would Biggins do? What about Nutkins? Do you think when Delia had to come up with those hundred recipes for her book, and she was on 99, and she was all wondering what she was gonna do for that last recipe, and she couldn't get it, do you think she thought, I can't do this. I can't give the people what they want. Of course she didn't. She dug deep, she pulled that recipe out of the bag. Bestseller, number one, Waterstones, first week. What about Biggins, eh? When he was doing 40 days straight on Panto, four matinees a month. Do you think he thought, oh, too much, the stress is killing me? No, he dug deep, pulled it out of the bag, put his hat on, got on stage. And what about Nutkins, eh? When he lost his two fingers, that wild, ferocious sucker. Do you think he thought, oh, I can't do this anymore. I'm never going to grow up to be the greatest man the wildlife's ever seen. Of course not. He dug deep, handicapped or not, and he got straight on set. I'm not down. I'm not finished. I've got to give the people what they want. Got to. Mm-hmm. 
I'll get up early to catch us out, eh? Yeah, sure. With his training complete and his dreams in his hands, Kevin boards the train for London. Right, this is it. Time to make this official. Right, I'm rolling, Kev. Just like to thank you all for being here on the beginning of my new life as a record breaker. I'm gonna eat. A raw onion in under one minute and 32 seconds. Whee! Right, you ready, Kev? Let's do it. Three, two, one, go! Come on, Kev. Come on, get stuck in, mate. Come on. Come on, you're doing well, that's it, keep going. Oof. Come on, think of all the training we put in. 30 seconds gone. Come on, you've got a minute left. Forty-five seconds gone. You got half, you're half the time. <coughs> oh, mate! Come on, Kev, you can do it. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, buddy. Come on, think of the fame and glory. Fame and glory. Fame. <laughs> Right, 15 seconds, come on. Come on. Yes! <laughs> One minute, 24 seconds. You did it, mate. Look, I'm very sorry, but this is not an official record. Come on. This is not an official record. Um, for example, have you even weighed the onion? Have you kept a serious record of timekeeping? What do you mean, weighed the onion? Look. It's an onion. If you it doesn't need weighing. An onion is an onion. No, I'm afraid this is not a serious official record. There's no official timekeeping. There's no official weight of the onion. I'm sorry, but you're completely wasting my time. This is not an official record. I put my life into this. I'm very sorry, but this isn't an official record. I can't help you any further. I'm going to have to ask you both to leave. James? Tell him, James. I don't know what to say. Put it in again. We'll watch it again. No, I'm sorry, but I understand it must have been quite exhausting eating that onion. But I'm afraid it is not an official record. You'll have to try and do it properly with an official timekeeper. You'll have to weigh the onion. This is not an official record. Now, you really must leave now. So I'm a very busy man. Come on. Why? Well, I said. Yeah, um, take your DVD with you. Okay. Well, I must say, I, I think you'll make a terrible mistake. Well, thank you for coming. So, Kevin, how do you think that went? Oh, 
Fuck off! As you can see, Kevin is still reaching for greatness. He still sees his destiny. To eat an onion in 1 minute and 32 seconds was just a stepping stone towards that greatness. With the 2012 Olympics just around the corner, Kevin is training and working his way through sweat, blood and tears towards a gold medal for Great Britain. In Bridge. <laughs> documentary on the pitfalls of fame. Famous for being famous, instant fame, that endless quest of search for notoriety, celebrity status and fame. We put out an ad in the local paper and we found Kevin. Sell your soul, be a rebel, put the pedal to the metal. Script, script this. Um, who is it? Uh, that's Kevin. Kevin, again. Um, tell him I'll get back to him, please. Uh, but he... No, 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 please. Seriously. Tell him I'll get back to him later, okay? Thank you. Script this. You can script this if you try. A little bit embarrassing. I thought this may happen though. I'm what I may call a little bit of a face around me. A little bit of a local celebrity. They seem to follow me wherever I go. They follow all my exploits and shenanigans. You've got to give the people what they want though, haven't you? Cool. I'll be getting pat next. I just think about it sometimes. Me, falling out of cabs with Delia by my side. Oh, Delia, Terry Nutkins, TV Ballet. Can you imagine the carnage? Wanker! Wanker. Little Herberts? I'm really sorry about that. I don't know why they're having a go at you. <laughs> 